Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Business. The Finance Ministry says it would declare its final position on tax exemptions granted to businesses in November this year when it presents the 2018 budget. The ministry is currently reviewing laws that allow these exemptions to be granted to foreign investors and other local firms. But could this move by the Finance Ministry clash with the GIP GIPCs which is pushing for more tax waivers for investors? George Raffi has more. The ministry in the interim has asked all the exemption holders to honor taxes that they were not previously paying until the review is completed. Deputy Finance Minister Kweku Kwateng is, however, promising a refund when the review is completed. Announcement in the 2017 budget was that government was going to do a comprehensive review of the exemptions, exemptions regime. And that we are working on. It will duly be announced in the 2018 budget uh, uh, statement. The interventions um, we intend to pursue in respect of exemptions, and that that, that that will be known by the by the public. In the meantime, we have sought to deal with some of the irregularities in the regime. Uh, we are asking um, exemption holders to pay upfront and apply for refund, and so far it is going well. Uh, we know it is um, inconvenient, to say the least, uh, to exemption holders, but this is something we have had to do to deal with the escalation of exemptions in the economy. Uh, once the comprehensive review of the exemption regime is complete, and we have rationalized our exemptions to make them more efficient than we are having now, uh, government can take a second look at this requirement to pay provisionally and to get refund for exemption holders. So also say government is bent on reviewing the exemptions because of how much the state is loosened with various projections putting the loss at around 5 billion Ghana cities every year. But the challenge for this policy is that Various government institutions like the Ghana Investment Promotion Center are pushing for more waivers in their quest to attract more capital into the country. For instance, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center is even proposing a 10-year tax holiday for some multinationals that establish presence in Ghana. Analysts say the finance ministry must tread cautiously because the country could lose billions of dollars if they review it's not carried out well, but government insists the abuse of this tax regime is forcing them to go this way. The report was by George Riafi. Now, the Lands and Natural Resources Minister, John Peter Meru, is demanding large mining companies deepen local content in their operations. He made a call at the ongoing Ghana Mining and Energy Summit 2017, which enters its final day today at the Accra International Conference Center. We'll bring you updates of that event when, we, uh, when I come your way again shortly on the marketplace. My name is Emmanuel Abouaji. That's it for now. Good afternoon.